Hey, hey, hey. Can you just shut up and let me talk? Okay, thanks. I'm feeling good. And here it is. Level 50 fishing. <laughs> yeah, sorry to be so bitter to start off this episode. But watch, as soon as I click through this, I think my character is going to run over to one of these patches. We'll see. Yeah, boom. Because uh, the, the fishing patch expired as soon as... Like, the fishing patch expired after I got 50 fishing. So... Yeah, whatever. I just know how that works, okay? If you don't know how that works, then I'm sorry. I don't know how to explain it to you. Um, we're going to take a look at my stat sheet here while I cook this. And, um, oh, wow, this loud, this sound is on loud. Okay, okay, let me say, let me say. Because I made a lot of prog progress. I have 41 fire making right now. And I actually wrote everything down um, in a log so that I could remember. Let me just zoom out here. Zooming out. Okay, there we go. Now I can read it. And uh, I don't think you'll be able to see this. I have it up on screen covering my RuneScape thing. Let me I'll go here so I can see. Oh, I'm already done there. Okay, so I found a great spot for oak logs at Sears Village. I also did some ferry runs across the ferry, but it was a thousand dollars, or sorry, a thousand GP each way. So that's too expensive, and that's not sustainable. I'll, in future, I'll be doing using law runes, and I was thinking, you know, why would I train rune crafting when I can just go buy runes forever, right? But then I realized, you know, GP is precious resource on Iron Man. Maybe it's not. I'm not sure. Like, can't you always spend your GP on some stupid crap, like? kingdom right gp is hard right so um what the hell am i saying rune crafting yeah so why don't i craft runes instead yeah i'll probably end up crafting runes because it's actually good um and i'm done with fishing now i just wanted that 50 fishing for family crest and i'll do some other fishing later i think i'll need like 55 for barbarian fishing Whatever. As you can see, I have some willow logs, and I have a ton of oak logs. I need exactly one th Here, I'll just explain. I'll read through. I wrote it all down here. So I carved enough oak longbows unstrung so that I need to do exactly 1,000 more in order to reach level 40 fletching, which is the level required for willow longbows. I want to go directly from oak longs to willow longs because there are more XP per log. I mean, uh, not only XP per log, but also GP per log when you sell them. So I'm at 29 right now. I have exactly 1,000 to go to get to 40, and then I'll be I'll have over a thousand oak longbows to sell at the general store, which I will probably do for an episode, and then um, uh, the uh, selling the willow longs as well. I got my third bead, which was lucky. I actually left before checking to see if the drop was good, but then I went back in time and I picked it up the yellow bead. So only one more to go. What's next here? Um, is this thing on? So I got a clue nest that dropped another monk robe top trimmed. You can see I have one here in the bank, so I've got two in total. Uh, what else? What else? Um, I've completed 26 beginner clue trails. Your treasure is worth around 48,177 coins. That's exactly what I said. Um, I want to try optimizing clue runs a bit later in the account when I can afford lots of law runes to teleport around because I think law runes are going to be the future of teleportation. I got myself a couple pairs of boots of lightness and it turns out my unlit torch came in handy. It was from those weird mobs in the stronghold of security because I forgot a light source is needed for boots of lightness. What the fuck? Why am I losing track of my place all the time? I'm Okay, um... I don't have a light source, boots of lightness, I got two pairs. I dyed my hair to match my robes um, as best as I could. I had to go to the hairdresser anyway for a clue step. This means I want a new thumbnail, so I might upload that with this episode. I don't know what number this episode is going to be. I do have to re-upload a bunch of episodes again because I was uploading from my desktop, but it would crash during uploads, and then the whole thing is scrapped, so i got to redo those. Um... Yeah, so the hair went from gray to blue, and it's um, 
longer beard. There is a third beard that is the longest and I'll switch to that um, and switch to white hair at the same time once I feel like I'm finished with the account. Um, I found a great spot at the Barbarian Outpost for Willow Logs. I can show you that right now because I have practically infinitely many of these games necklaces. They're so cheap to make and they're eight charges each. And I would normally teleport to the Castle Wars instead for a bank because it's a little bit closer bank. So here you can see there's a Willow Log right outside the door. There's another one here. There's also a, a small net and bait spot there, so if you're a low-level fisher, then that would be a good spot to go to. But uh, if you're that low-level fisher, you might be free to play anyway. So these two trees here, you can chop without moving. And if you go to this spot here, you can chop all three of these without moving. And then I would go over here to this tile, and I would um, light the logs across there. So this is a great spot for willow logs. And I might be doing some more of that now. Yeah, I'll do some more of that as I continue to read through this. I have my, oh, whatever. I have my black hammer out because I was doing some smithing, and that's what I like to wield when I'm doing smithing for whatever reason. Because then I can pretend I'm using it. Um, yeah. Da 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 do 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 da do 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 da 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 da. <clears throat> Excuse me. So, anyways, I'm getting ready to look like a lumberjack and deposit those. Don't care. And now let's go chop. We're chopping. We're chopping. We're chopping. 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 So I'm gonna turn on my. Ooh, that was fast. That was a fast one. I don't have my speakers plugged in right now. I'm gonna turn this on low here. Is this being recorded or what? I don't know. I just don't know if it's being recorded or not. I don't know. Where are my notes? Where the fuck are my notes? Ah! Here we go. Okay, yeah, so I got 40 fire making here, and I did a little bit more at Sears Village. I planted onions. Oh, here, this part's important. I'm considering Wilderness Slayer. So lots of gameplay is restricted because of my level one thieving. I'm okay with that because I'd rather keep the thieving purity. I made more iron plate bodies. I'm considering selling them. I have my first easy clue to do. And so I'll probably make a separate episode for that easy clue. And I got my level 50 fishing. So that is all looking very dandy. I have 51 wood cutting now. This is all looking 50 plus pretty soon. I'm going for 50 fire making because um, and I'd already just explained how I was doing my fire making training, but you need 50 fire making to enter the winter Todd, and I did not know about that. I had forgotten. Um, I wanted to go to Vanica for a task, but you need 40 combat, because I was killing hill giants anyways, and I figured if I'm going to kill random free-to-play mobs, why don't I just do Slayer? So what I think I'll do is Wilderness Slayer, and I can just wear like um, my Iron Man armor because I can pick that up again for free. Or if I'm Madge, then I can, uh, I don't know, figure something out. Wilderness. I'd like to do some... Um, wilderness stuff on this account and obviously as an iron man it kind of sucks like you're always defensive and thinking about how to escape and not thinking about how to trap and kill opponents but you know it's not like it's you know good pkers aren't going to just 1v1 you you know they're going to um team you or trap you somehow and they've got strategies that are good so i'm not about that i do enjoy 1v1s um but for whatever reason i suck at um, old school RuneScape player versus player. So I've tried that mini game. What the fuck is it called? Last Man Standing, and I'm just terrible at it. So I don't know about that. But um, I do enjoy trying to survive against other players in the wilderness because um, I understand the game. You know, like I used to get upset when people would PK me when I don't have anything to drop, but you know, it's fun for them. And so I have to make it fun for me too. You know, I'm going to try to survive. And I want to play it in a way where 
I know what risks I'm taking on, if any. So if I can't play it completely safe, where I know I can escape, then I want to understand what sort of tactics I would lose to, you know what I mean? So if you want to deposit quickly, click use on your logs and then go to the deposit box and then it's going to give you an option here. Press 4 as soon as it appears and then you can immediately click away and you will do this move here where you do a quick run like that. So I'll show that one more time here for the camera. Um, how to use the deposit box, that's a nice thing. Um, I'm going to write that down so I remember for the description. How to use deposit box. How to use deposit box. Okay. I have a crap load of iron plate bodies right now. Um, let's go around here. This tree is sort of, oh, whatever. I should have gone this way the first time. This is, I'm going to mark this tile. This is a good tile. There's a tile I want to mark at Sears as well, Sears Village. There's a, a spot with two oak trees. And um, it's just absolutely fantastic because you can stand in one spot and chop them both and it's really close to the bank. And so that's how I got over a thousand oak logs is by chopping them at Sears. Oh, see this over here? This guy has a max cape. That's the cape you get um, when you get 99 in every skill. Total level 2,277. And I think that's the right total level. Look up. Yeah, 2277. Wow, and these stats are huge. He's got a lot of XP in these that go above 99. Unreal. That's amazing. Mouse keys. I guess he uses mouse keys. I gotta look him up again. I wonder what his uh, rankings are. Does it say? Total overall level? What's his overall? He's ranked 1764 in the world. OMG, that's high level, man. Mouse keys. Look at these other guys. These are oh, found a baby weirdo. Okay, well, I think I've said about everything I wanted to say for this episode. You know, I've been training up these skills, and right now I'm letting my food get cold. Ew. Oh, I feel so bloated, but that's probably because I ate an entire pizza yesterday, and it was not a very good pizza. And I also had a cookie and two more cookies, and they were big. But I somehow made it through. I had a couple of beers, too, yeah, and uh, it was tough. I felt bloated as all hell. I normally don't like doing that, but I didn't chunder, not one bit. I've chundered worse on times when I haven't eaten as much or drank as much, so I don't know what gives. It's the Rona, but not really. You know, you don't even feel sick, but then in the middle of the night, you wake up and go puke. That happened to me once. You know, I'm not. That does not normally happen to me. Okay. Ow. Yeah. So I guess this might be just an ASMR thing because I'm so scatterbrained and um, what else? Uh, it's otherwise boring. Listen to the sound of my voice and be hypnotized. <laughs> Listen to the sound of my voice and be hypnotized. <coughs> Just kidding. Don't do it. Snap out of it. Snap back into it. Snap out of it again. Snap back. Okay, here's what I'm showing you. See, I'm about to get my last log so I can click use on this first one. I'm going to use it on this bank deposit box. Boom. And now my guy starts running there. And as soon as he gets close, a menu is going to appear. And when it appears, I don't click. I just use my key. I press the key four, four, boom. And then as soon as I press four, I also click like immediately afterwards, like a flam, if you know what a flam is. And so that sends me running back. At the like the frame after I deposit like as soon as possible after I deposit I'm already running away <laughs> ah! so I hope you enjoy using that extra technique you know test it out as much as you want um, depositing whatever you want it doesn't matter which bank it is sometimes the deposit box is a bit out of the way in the bank but you know it's good practice so test out that technique and um, don't forget to use condoms <laughs>